What's up everybody, Ryan Sujit here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Google Ads scripts, uh, specifically scripts at the MCC level, um, but honestly, it'll just be an overview of scripts. So even if you have a single account, this will just give you a broad overview of what they are, how to use them. And I'm also gonna share my favorite MCC script that has saved me many, many times. So let's jump in. So what are scripts? So uh, first off, I'm not a technical guy, but uh, scripts are essentially just a way for you to program Google Ads yourself to make it do certain things you want it to do outside of the current way Google Ads is set up. Um, and that sounds very, very complicated, but the nice thing is Google themselves have a bunch of templates already for you and then random people all over the internet and gurus and stuff all have their own scripts they've written as well and they give you very easy uh, instructions on how to implement them yourself. Um, so yeah, here's the script. So if you're in your Google Ads account, you just go tools and settings and then scripts. And obviously if you want it at the MCC level for agencies, um, you would just want to be on that in your MCC and then you would go to there and then you'll have all your scripts here. Um, so to start a script, you would just go new script. And for today, the script I'm going to be showing you again is my favorite one and it's called the link checker. So it looks at all of your uh, campaigns that are running in your MCC and for your ads themselves and your site links, it checks them to see if they are um, live or not, or if they're broken links. And this is pretty huge because I don't know what my clients do, but a lot of the times they break their website and they're down. And yes, Google ads also does this to a degree and will disapprove your ads if it's going to a 404 page. But for whatever reason, this script is way more accurate than Google is and will often catch things a lot faster. Um, so it's super, super helpful, uh, especially if you're, you know, you're not always in your MCC and you don't catch something being disapproved. It's just really nice to have this. And it adds a lot of value to your clients too, because if you're like, Hey, your website's down, they're like, Oh my goodness. And it, it's just another way to add value. Right. And trust me, I've, this has come in handy a lot. I'm not lying when I say that. Um, so for this link checker, uh, I'll try to remember to put this in the description, but if you just Google Google Ads script uh, link checker for a manager accounts, you'll find it. Uh, but here's where you're, uh, this is the Google Ads script URL and there's tons in here, like I said. Uh, but yeah, this will be the one we go through. So it's got some instructions down here, what it does, that type of thing. But I'll just kind of walk you through exactly how to do it. So here's the source code. So what you want to do is you want to copy this and then go back into your Google Ads and then you're gonna go ahead and paste this here. Okay, first off, I'm gonna name this. Uh, so demo link checker. And then they want you to authorize it. I think you gotta do this a couple times. I don't really know, but let me just do this quickly. Okay, so I've done that. I think it's gonna ask me to do it again after I save this, but I'll just do that. So then I'm scrolling to the top here. And then if you go down, you start to see where you need to make updates. So the first thing is your spreadsheet URL. So this is going to be the spreadsheet that when this script runs, it populates in this uh, Google sheet and shows you what ads have some type of issue. Okay. So what they want is this should be a copy of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL here. And I'm gonna paste it and then make a copy. Perfect. So I might just refresh this. There we go. So now you wanna save this URL, okay? Uh, but first what you wanna do is you wanna share this with uh, the account that runs your Google Ads. Okay, so um, sometimes they're different, right? Sometimes you'll be using a, your standard direct email for your Google Drive, and then uh, for your Google Ads, you use some type of agency level account. So you just wanna make sure these are shared together. Uh, mine are the same uh, for this demo, so I don't think I need to do that. Um, but for you, just make sure if there's an issue, that might be it. Um, and you have to just share access with the sheet to that Google Ads account. Um, Okay, so let's go back here. Oh no, so I'm gonna copy this URL and then go back to your Google Ads. And then now where it says spreadsheet URL, sorry, I'm talking so close to the mic, it might be loud there. Um, you're gonna paste it right here. Okay, and then the next thing is your email. 
So you can set this up so that when there's an issue um, to email you, and for me, I set this up every single day to run. Um, and then if there's an issue, it emails me. So just enter your email here. Okay. And then the other condition I use, um, let me just put it in here because you can have um, account uh, conditions uh, and label here. So I come back here and then it's here in account conditions. You just paste it here. So now it's only going to run when the label names contain MM. So that's something I've added to the script. And I believe that's everything. So let me just go ahead and save this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here because like I said, sometimes they want you to do this twice. Yeah, so we're going to authorize this again. Allow. Okay, I'm going to go back. And then now we can test this out. So you just go over here and go run. Now what you don't want to do is you want to change your date range to today. That way you'll see what's happening. Sometimes it's finicky and you got to click run twice, but uh, we'll see. So it looks like it ran here. So now you want to go to your Google sheet and let's see if it works. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Let's see if this worked. I don't think it worked this time, but that's okay. We'll try it again. Like I said, this is pretty finicky. And if it doesn't work for whatever reason, uh, change your date between analysis to zero because it won't run again. And let me just double check this script to see I did everything properly. But like I said, this is pretty normal when you're first setting this up, uh, even when I was trying to prepare for this video. Um, let's see, let me just go in here and make sure everything's good. So we got our spreadsheet name. And I think I got that right. Yep, that looks good. Recipient email looks good. Label names look good. Let me just run it from here. Let's see if that works. Sometimes maybe it's just a time thing. You gotta wait a little bit. You can also check these log statements. Sometimes that'll give you the answer, but I'm just gonna try it one more time. And I'm not going to edit this out because I know you guys might run into these same issues. So <laughs> bear with me here. Okay, so it's running here. Um, so I might cut the video just so you don't have to wait for all this to run. But it does look like it's running uh, successfully here. Okay, so it says it has been uh, successful. So let's just go make sure. So I'm going to go back to my script here, my Google Sheet here. Refresh. Then you want to go to results and aha, it worked. So I'm going to blur some of this out here, um, but a couple things to keep in mind. Um, so there's going to be results here almost like every time. And it doesn't mean that these links are actually broken. Sometimes they just might've loaded too slow or there was a glitch, but I still check them every single day. Um, but I mean, if you have the same account in there all the time, like you'll probably know, okay, this is just for whatever reason, Google isn't reading this correctly. Um, but trust me, even though that might be a little bit annoying, it's worth it. The other thing is it runs on all, uh, campaigns. So sometimes it'll be in a campaign that ended like an experiment or something. And then those ads are uh, not running. So if you do that, just make sure you go back in and pause the ads, even though you might have the campaign paused, just make sure the ads are paused and then it won't show up here. Um, and then there's a couple more options in here. So check ad URLs, check keyword URLs, check the site link, and then include pause ads. No, that's why I'm saying if you pause your ads, it won't show up here in those ended campaigns. But yeah, so here's uh, going to be where your results are, it gives you the response code 404, so on and so forth. Um, and then yeah, you can just see what campaign and ad group it is, go see what's going on, and then uh, see if it's legit or not. 
And then, so this looks good, the script looks good, so let's go back into our uh, Google Ads, go back to scripts, and then what you wanna do is go to your script and then you can do frequency. So you can run this daily at whatever time you want, so let's say eight to nine, and then I think that's everything in the options. And then the other thing is let's go back to here and go options and let's change this back to one. So then every, you know, it only runs once a day. And that's basically it guys. So it's really not that complicated. I know it's a little bit buggy just to set up the first time, but now I've had this set up for probably years now and it just runs and it's really, really helpful. And again, it's gonna email you every day with a nice link right to that this uh, Google Sheet in the results tab. And then you can just look at it daily. Super, super helpful. Um, and yeah, and scripts are generally the same process, right? They're gonna give you the instructions and I showed you a few things you can edit. Sometimes there's things you wanna customize like I showed you with the label. And if you look up the code, it, it's, it's complicated, but it's not that bad to figure out. Sometimes in the script instructions, they'll give you the different things that you can customize. So if you dive in, it's, um, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's really not too bad. Um, but this script, if, as long as you follow the steps, should be pretty straightforward. And I think they have this script for single accounts as well. So if you just Google um, link checker script for a single account or something like that, you should find it. But yeah, guys, that's essentially it. And that's scripts and my favorite script. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you can find your way back. See you in the next video.